me, let me just testify real quick. 2020 made a hypocrite out of me. We heard it over and over. Prepare yourself for the person you want to attract. Well, <laughs> well what I know that does not work <laughs> is if it is that we're setting big intentions for this fantabulous partner <laughs> and we are not that, that person's ideal partner. to talk today about creating some wellness and mental health goals as it relates to your New Year's resolution. So I have on set with me Kamala who is a associate clinical psychologist, also a relationship coach and she will be talking with us and giving us some tips how to balance 2021, how to focus and cultivate healthier habits as it relates to surviving and navigating 2021. Nice to have you. It's awesome to be here. Thanks for, thanks for inviting me. It's my pleasure because we cannot approach 2020, 2021 mm -hmm. the way we approach 2020, correct? Absolutely. I, I believe in always leveling up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So 2021 needs to be all that much, I would say, higher in terms of mindset because of how ridiculous 2020 was for many of us. Right. And normally, you know, Around this time, even leading into 2020, you would see a lot of vision board parties happening. You would see a lot of goal setting seminars and so many things. But I kind of sense a shift, a shift. happening right now. Sure. What's your take on that? I, I fully agree, Sadiqa, because <laughs> I see so many, even individuals, saying, I'm going to be kind of tentative to step in, take time, step into 2021, as opposed to the big grand grand vision so people are more intentional i think setting intentions versus the big bad resolutions that we normally see at the start of a new year <laughs> i like that big bad resolution so we're not setting any big bad resolutions we're focusing on cultivating a better you but mentally and spiritually maybe yeah i would say i would say mindset mindset cultivating mm -hmm. new mindsets mm -hmm. how can persons get to that level how can i know that Research has shown that most times we don't keep our New Year's resolutions. Mm -hmm. We don't. We just don't do it. Mm -hmm. But we still make them. Um, how can we ensure we're focusing less on the superficial things yeah. and focusing more on the internal aspects of life? For me, I actually go all the way to our big why. Mm -hmm. Some people call it purpose. I love purpose. I believe in living a purpose for right. life. And so I go all the way back to why do we want these things? So I kind of break up my, my aspirations, my intentions into three categories. What do I want to be? Mm. What do I want to have? Right. What do I want to do? And all of the three then are, what should I say, peripheral to the big picture in the middle, which is my why. Okay, right. Who am I? What, what was I called to do here mm -hmm. in the earth? What are my gifts? What kind of life vision do I have? So start with the bigger picture. And then now, if we believe that we are a healthy person, or we, we believe that we deserve to be to have a healthy life, right? Then things like exercising and eating and going vegan or whatever it is we're doing, <laughs> yeah, kind of come more naturally because it it plugs in so perfectly into the into the broader platform of who am I and who do I want to be, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as opposed to oh, I want to be skinny because I want to fit into these jeans. Mm -hmm. Like body goals change every day. <laughs> Instagram tell you today that it's about this, and then next year is like, oh, that's so last season. What would you say to a person who has a huge list right now of, of resolutions? I would recommend setting intentions versus resolutions because resolutions oftentimes sound like a wish list. I want. Mm -hmm. Wanting is good, but that's only one piece of the journey. We have to move into inspired action. And so mm -hmm. for me, intentions sound like I will be a healthier person. I read this book on Atomic Habits by James Clear, Change My Whole Life, Sis, and I'm still, still changing his medical. Mm -hmm. And what he talks about is not starting from the outcome, which is the weight loss or the diet, but starting from an identity. Mm. Who do I want to be? I want to be a healthier version of me because I deserve it. How do I balance the digital space mm -hmm. in terms of maintaining my health, my wellness, my resolution, my goals, but still be able to surf, navigate, and engage in the digital space in a healthy way. Yes, my lovely, we're going to have to just make sure it's a bit cut down, mm -hmm. like set, set timelines. I remember, um, I think it was at the beginning of last year, my phone decided to tell me how many hours I have been spending on the device, how much screen time I had in hours and minutes. And when I saw how much was on social media, I almost passed out. Mr. Chuchu, 
And I, I, I could sense that there were some days where I was just scrolling aimlessly because of anxiety, because of just uncertainty. So we have to be very careful. What are we using social media for? I know we have to connect and network and, you know, sometimes we get a good laugh for a five. That's and that's, true. That, that's fine. But we also have to be mindful of, I call it being more mindful generally, tap into mindfulness. How am I feeling when I keep on seeing them people that achieve for them big goals? Am I feeling a little bit less than? Am I having FOMO, which is fear of missing out, right? And to have the presence of mind to say, hold up, sis, dial down mm -hmm. and, go, and jump off of this. So we have to become more present to our lives, what journey we are on and value that so that we don't get depressed. We don't, we don't compare so viciously and end up feeling like something wrong with me. Mm -hmm. I am on a journey. You won't look like your journey. That's true. Because I only want me. You understand? That's true. That's and respecting true. and valuing that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Set, simple things are setting a boundary, um, knowing that you need to walk away from a situation. Mm -hmm. That in itself helps to feed the inner self. Absolutely. So now we are talking so much about self-care. What does that look like? Mm -hmm. So I like to say that self-care is self-love. And then when I say that now, I, I, I like to say to people, I encourage people and myself to eat like we love ourselves, mm -hmm. to rest like we love ourselves, to speak like we love ourselves. There's so many things come again out of who we are. If I believe that I'm valuable and good things are going for me, and you know I am, I'm deserving of good things. Therefore, then I will, I will more likely feed myself better. Of course, I'll cut off toxic relationships as soon as I realize that it's toxic. Mm -hmm. Without the oh, I feel so bad. What will they think of me? Kind of dynamic. So the more we're able to connect with the fact that we deserve mm -hmm. good things is the more that, guess what, we are more likely to do the things that will keep us in a good space. Sustain us. Absolutely. Make like us resting. Better. Resting is important. Yeah. Was it always this way for you in terms of mindfulness and intention setting? <laughs> let, me, let me just testify real quick. I have said on several platforms that I'm, I'm delivering on recently that 2020 made a hypocrite out of me because I was a therapist who was saying to people, oh, you're having some anxiety, let's walk through some CBT, but also as part of your homework, let's practice some self-care strategies, <laughs> like deep breathing and <laughs> yoga, and maybe. nothing, <laughs> right? I'm at home like, yeah, man, look, I have this, I've got this. And then 2020 came, COVID came, the realities of COVID boxed me on my face. So I literally had to be drawing from my own mindfulness five minute meditations to say, Kamala, focus on what's going on in your body. I, so I, I'm at a point now, Sadiqa, where by necessity, especially because I'm supporting people in their own um, anxieties, exactly. I can't mash up and pop down and mm -hmm. still do that effectively. So I'm drawing on my own self care. I have my days that I call my lie down and look days when not na keep no appointment no 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 mid na do not and it's on purpose you understand and i know i realize i need that mm -hmm. and so i'm almost unequivocal in saying no to anything on those days like not at all not even sometimes a phone call because everything takes work so Rejuve. it was not always easy <laughs> it was not always easy yes and nice. i had to catch myself being a hypocrite in saying why are you preaching this to your clients and to other people but you're not as intentional in doing it and that's okay it's good that you have realized it mm -hmm. and say, let me start taking that step. So where are we, do you think, as a nation, as it relates to therapy? Well, I think social media has done us some, some justice in good. that regard. Mm -hmm. Because nowadays, um, there is actually a page called Hashtag My Therapist Says, ah. the whole line. And people are making jokes about it. But, but the underlying fact is that they are seeking help. And people even joke and say, you need therapy. So I, th I feel like slowly we're normalizing it. And the pandemic has... I think giving us more space to talk about the fact that I'm not okay. Yes, yeah, so therapists need therapy and everybody can do with a neutral third party who is not your friend or will tell you what you want to hear, but who will lovingly challenge you into confronting the things that you want to work on and move towards them. But what are some of your resolutions that mindful, <laughs> what is it, mindful resolution? Mindfulness, yes. Mindfulness that you can share with us. I'm more on building from last year as opposed to whoo, brand new everything right it's not, it's not practical <laughs> yeah 2020 not. whipped us really hard many of us so for me it's about building on where i have been so more consistent with my self-care like exercising mm -hmm. i want to eat more plant-based foods so my intention is i will be a healthier version of me for 2021 therapy is expensive so i'm creating group coaching products for people to be able to access it at a lower rate and get the support that they need to live there say that louder so you are creating 
healthy space for people to access therapy. Tell us Absolutely. more about that. So my brand is White Lotus Blooms because my first name Kamala means lotus mm -hmm. and I've embraced what it means. I have created a course that's going live January 26th. It's a group coaching course for persons who have been stuck in patterns of settling and heartbreak to be able to heal mm -hmm. and live better lives, become the better versions of you and therefore have better love. Mm -hmm. Right? That's going live January 26th. I've also created a magic making manual, which is a guide to help us set powerful intentions. Um, that's on my website, whitelotusblooms.com, that people can download for free for the month of January. Because I'm trying to also give back as part of my intentions to be of service, to live my life on purpose, and of course for profit too. My money I have to make. Of yeah, course. Right? Yes. <laughs> Some persons might want to have talk about wanting to find, wanting to find a right partner, a right spouse for 2021. Should that be the focus, or should it be prepare yourself? for the person you want to attract? Does that work? Well, what I know that does not work <laughs> is if it is that we're setting big intentions for this fantabulous partner <laughs> and we are not that that person's ideal partner. You get what I mean? So, Explain. So, if it is, so for example, yeah. a lot of us want a partner who's financially stable. That's a big one. As women, That's true. as heterosexual women, you have this idea of, of this partner who's supposed to be earning six figures or even seven by the age of 30, kind of unrealistic, and we over here rock up with debt. You understand that people are calling the phone every day, and we're not growing or even aiming to grow in those spaces. Right. When that high value man or high value partner comes in our space, Sadiqa, will they want us? But I feel like everybody wants a good partner. And of course, it doesn't have to be the case where if me reach, you have to reach too. Mm -hmm, you understand? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But at least you're on a journey of leveling up, especially emotionally and in terms of your habits. So it definitely is valuable if you're looking for love, to give love to, because sometimes we focus only on the romantic love. That's true. Be the kind of person who is more loving to self first. And mm -hmm. when, I believe in attraction. And even if, not, if, if attraction is focus, focus, when you do meet the person, they want to know that you're already at a good place. So many women hinge their, their, their wholeness of who they are on being a man's wife. What else happened after that? Do you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's important to love you, delve in deeper, and for men too, self-love is key. Excellent. Nice way to conclude our conversation. But where can they find you, Kamala, on social media? Anyone who wants to access her course or her services as a therapist, where can they find you? So on Instagram, mm -hmm. I'm at White Lotus Blooms, and the website is the same thing, whitelotusblooms.com. Um, email white lotus blooms ja at gmail.com so you can connect with me by dm by email and the course is going live january 26th so it, it, it will be shared on website and right. instagram and you are blooming where you're planted <laughs> i received that and thank you <laughs> thank you so much for being here thank you guys for watching i do wish you all the best for 2021 and i want to hear your progress i want to hear some of your intentions so comment below let me hear what are your mindful intentions for 2021 2021